Hello, Sinvicta. Hello, Northern Lion. How you doing? I'm doing better. Uh, I'm glad that uh, all the mixing board issues and stuff were fixed. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the details, but just know that audio issues are really frustrating, and especially uh, when you get a new fancy, expensive board that uh, wasn't working. I mean, it was working. It was doing exactly what it was supposed to, but yeah, so I'm doing better to answer your question in a roundabout way. How about yeah, you? How's your weekend? Totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have any other insight there. Um, where where are we at in Geo? Someone's up by you one. Are, you are up by one. Okay, thank God. You, you brought it back on Friday after I uh, mm-hmm. I had a little bit of a bungle. I forgot was Wednesday the, was that Husavik nightmare. Yeah, the uh, shout out again to my my peeps over in the Faroe Islands. We'll see if that happens again this time around. I'm, and again, I'm glad that I was that my I actually recorded my point of view. Uh, I also good, people, yeah. Because people are like, "What? How did that even happen?" Uh, well, without further ado, let's get this week started. Three, two, one. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. Hopefully, sound is more balanced now on NL side and my side. If it's not, let me know. It's probably going to be on my end. Why um, do they call them the Faroe Islands when they are so far from Egypt? You know, if I w- if I knew that there was going to be a little bit more of a uh, setup for that, I would have used my sound bank. With you got have womp, a, womp, have a little... womp, that's big brain hours, and well, his name have... is Bra. <laughs> I have a little a little rim shot like doo doo. Ah, okay. But from myinstance.com. Yeah, yeah. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Is the name of a. Is the name of a company or is that the name of the city? We're looking at here. What's the name? I'm not telling. I mean, it, 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 you saw <clears> it at the very beginning. Rio de Janeiro. Named uh, uh, Cuidado. Cuidado. Isn't that Spanish for like something to do with a road? If you want to think it's Spanish? I'm getting. I'm not going to let you. Uh oh. I'm not going to let you go down the wrong path here because I do want to. You know, I, I want a competitive game. I'm going to give you a simple rule when you're in South America. Okay. If you're in wet South America, you're in Brazil. <laughs> if, you're look, if you look around you and you see wetness, welcome to Brazil. If you see dryness, you need to go through the whole flow chart. Right. Are there mountains? How dry are we talking? <clears throat> yeah. Are you Which on the Altiplano the, uh... salt flats? <laughs> Do you see license plates on the outside of the car or the car doors instead of uh, on the back and front? See, but the problem is that if you if you see wet South America, you're also like <clears throat> in danger of running into Central America. Right? It's true. It's true. But if you see wet South America and you also see Portuguese, nine hundred percent, oh you're yeah, going to be in Brazil. What a large country. Pretty big. What is it, like the fifth largest country on Earth? Sixth largest country on Earth? It's no Canada, I can tell you that. Canada is larger, for sure. Brazil's no slouch, though. Brazil's pretty freaking big. It's a large, it's like half of South America. But I tell you what, it ain't. It ain't Africa. It is, Africa it, it's true. It's not a, it's not a country. But. Also correct, yes. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to say it. Well, I, I would assume that people knew that I was not talking about, like, oh, yeah, the, the country of Africa, but you never freaking know. Also smaller than the Pacific Ocean. Yep. Which is not even close to the size of the sun. We've He's absolutely gone, right. We've gone full. We full, found the biggest full. thing, the sun. Yep. Well, in our galaxy, anyway. No universe. Or- I mean, and even then. I mean, you ever think about, like, what holds the multiverse? <laughs> Dude, that'll that'll mess with you. Yeah, it's, it's Stewie and Brian. Um, I refuse to touch that one. Um, <laughs> I think we are here. How about that? How do you feel about that? Give me, give me the... Give me the... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the halfway tri-state area region there 
11 seconds just get me out i got nine seconds left yeah i'm sending it wow uh you got me by 600 500 and 557. Oh, did you do like Sao Paulo, Rio de Janeiro? Yeah, I just put myself in the yeah. middle of those two. I thought I it was. I, gone... I mean, you never know like what if whether my logic was more right or whether I just got lucky, but I felt like whenever it's wetter, I always aim for like the closer to the western side. Yeah, I should have I should have paid attention to the fact that well, I mean, there's it's so freaking big. Like you, you can be next to the ocean in Brazil and not know it. You know? Yeah. No, I, I hear you on that one. Without without seeing it. Oh, we got some got some banana trees. We got some uh, what appears to be Japanese writing. See, that's and I I feel bad because I thought when I looked at it, I was like, this looks Japanese. However, it also looked like it could be Chinese, and I'm not like most of the time. I'm pretty good at telling the languages apart based on their text this time yeah. i'm kind of torn i will admit it looks like right now i would say that it's maybe japanese language chinese geography let me look at look at the again it's that's definitely chinese yeah and on top of that the banana leaves should be a dead giveaway as well we're not in, uh, we ain't in Japan, brother. Jeez Louise. Well, I mean, okay, well, the dead giveaway should be the fact that it's Chinese. <laughs> <not Japanese. laughs> oh, Look. that's incredible. <laughs> that's an incredible piece of intel. Uh oh, he found a road. Hold on. This is a, this is, this is a map painter. Map? I gotta paint the map on this one. And I want to paint the map. I see. I see what you're saying. I want to paint the map while we're playing G. You guess it. He wants to paint the painter. We thought it was Japanese, but it's clearly not because it's Chinese. <laughs> I uh, haven't heard that one. <laughs> I haven't heard that particular Might be variant. slightly less politically correct, but I'm not sure. It doesn't matter because I'm half Chinese anyway. You can say whatever you want for the most part. Maybe I could get in a lot of trouble. In, in, <laughs> in terms of uh, getting myself into a prickly issue, anytime it happens, I just got to be like, I'm married to someone who was born in Asia. But yeah, that... It'll yeah. only get you so far. That's all I'll say. Yeah, just don't, just don't call, just don't call it Oriental. That's all. That's the. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I wasn't gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I, the only reason why I make that joke is because they, everyone knows about the Washington Redskins getting yes, like changing yeah. their name and stuff. And I was like, man, we we had it in our in our football three guys podcast uh, Discord channel. Uh, the on, on the private wire, of course, and I was like, "Man, I had five bucks on them calling themselves the Washington Orientals." See, now that it yeah, would have worked. You're, but you're you're putting people like me in a tough spot then, because I can't, <laughs> can't I I can't laugh at your joke exactly. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, everyone in the Discord did laugh. So. It's not much of a private <laughs> wire at this point. <laughs> I mean, I also tweeted it. So. Okay, well then, <laughs> you know, all's forgiven. Uh, I got 28 seconds. I don't think I'm going to get any closer than what I am. So. I am as close as you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? Oh, okay. It's just the other 21. Wait, what? 29? 29, baby. Where did 29 come from? I was I was on 21. We were in the no Namasia district in Kaohsiung City. Kaohsiung City. There you go. You got me by uh, literally 100. I'll take it. Thank God that wasn't uh, Japanese. More Taiwan, please. I feel like I got a good track record on Taiwanese yeah, guesses. 
It, well, the country, like, it's only got, like, I don't know, like, eight cities. Makes it relatively simple. Oh. I mean, Canada's only got eight cities, too, but they're very, very far apart. Yeah. And one road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the Highway 1, yes, the Trans-Canada Highway. Which is also the same uh, Highway 1 in uh, Iceland. Mm, it, I mean, it just goes all the way around the world. Yeah, it, I mean, it might as well. Just a straight line across mm. the, so, the Northern Hemisphere. You could, you could probably, I bet you could drive straight from Canada, and assuming your car could handle the ocean, you would get to Iceland. You'd have to pick yeah. your vector right, though, for sure. Now that I think about it, I guess you could drive straight from anywhere on Earth to any other point on Earth, <laughs> as long as you picked the your original vector appropriately. Yeah, as long as, long as you you figured out the you know which direction you're, you're I mean, it's gonna be a little bit difficult getting through the uh, getting through the water and the ocean but. stuff. But we can. I'm trying to think. Like you can go north through Canada, and then end up like on the North Pole. And then from the North Pole, you can take it down into Greenland. The hard right. part is going to be making that standing long jump from Greenland to Iceland. <laughs> it's a pretty long jump. It is. Speaking it is. of which, for some reason, my, my, my YouTube recommended feed was shown the trailer for the movie called Greenland, starring mm -hmm. Gerard Butler. Oh, man. And it's about... A, apparently, from what I've gathered from the trailer, I'm not I'm not spoiling anything. Okay. Just so everyone knows, because the movie's not even out yet. I'm just I'm off the one trailer that I saw. It's about I guess a meteor or a comet or something that breaks apart, and everyone treats it as like a as like a spectacle sort of thing. But then it, like some some organization NASA was wrong or something, and they're actually far more fragments, and they're, they're okay, dropping yeah. them closer to home. Blah blah blah. But then it turns into a it turns into like he's like I will get my family back, right? No yeah, what. like a like a government conspiracy thing, and like and they start like have firefights and like action movies and stuff. I'm like, how do they manage to do that? How do they take a disaster movie and turn it into a give me back my family? That's like Gerard Butler's thing now. He's only in he he's like the actor that when you see him in a movie now, you know the movie is gonna be bad. And whenever yeah. I bring that up to people, they're like, I don't know, I liked Law Abiding Citizen. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, but I heard it was okay <laughs> by most people. But uh, Law Abiding Citizen came out like nine years ago. And 300 was like 2006 uh, or yeah, something. Three, uh, you can't even count 300. Anymore. Hmm. I'm going to say... You go back to that that sign. I didn't. I mean, there's there's information. I think I know the country, without a doubt. You think so? I think so because of that. I also know the country, but I don't know. I don't know where this is, and I also don't know if this is a distance marker. What is the what is the white circle? The slash through it mean. That's that the a road? It's a stop trinket from Isaac. It means... Usually I'm the one who brings up the random Isaac stuff. You don't pick up any more spacebar items. Spacebar items, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> you got me by six points. Oh, I'll take it. What the heck was that? Oh, there it is. Yeah, what is a 50 with a, with a, a slash through it mean? Honestly, I I got nothing for you. It means that we're we're fifty away. We have Bruxelles, Namur. It could be and anywhere. It could be, or it could be France, or possibly uh, Belgium. I mean, I hate to say it, it could be France. It, I'm it... not saying that Bruxelles <laughs> is the French word for Brussels. It's probably not. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Bruxelles is also the, uh... Bruxelles. Well, I mean, they speak French in Belgium, so... Oh, do they? they? They do. <laughs> Did you know that? Have you heard about this one? Have you seen this one? <laughs> okay, he did know. He did know. Okay. <laughs> I see. I mean, it's good. 
Well, this one seems like a map give a, painter. Give me a push, I think we call this a... Yeah. I think you are correct. But unfortunately, it's a push where we both have to work for it. Yeah. And the thing about France is that they do... They do like to bamboozle with the double the double roads. Why is this guy still talking about France? He's he lost his mind. He hasn't seen it yet. He's still talking about France. As if that's like where we're at. You think we're in France? I don't think we're in France, no. I don't think that you think we're in France either. How about that? I don't think. I don't think. You know what? Two minutes, I'm just sending it. You're sending it? I sent it. Now you can send it. You're going to be sitting there for a minute. No, that's fine. i got to find this intersection. Because, I mean, you got the N941. Mm -hmm. And then you got, like, the N931. Yep. But I need the N938. So here's the thing. I got the N937. How interesting. Next I'm one. To, I'm trying to, trying to see where you are on the map here. Okay. Hold on. I believe, I believe I have found it. Found I found N nine thirty eight. I believe I have found it. It's right here. He's done it. Where is the bed and breakfast, Jeanne? Jeanne, that's my impression of uh, Forrest Gump in Belgium. Or or Forrest Gump <clears throat> telling a Japanese person, "See you later." You know, Savita, I got you by one point. I just can't. I can't beat him today. <laughs> I've lost in every guess, including a four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine point guess. You can't be back by too much. I think you're back by like six hundred at most. Uh, I'm back by more than that. You think so? Yeah, I'm probably like I would say closer to eight hundred. What's your seventeen three fifty four? You know what? You're you're right. It is. Uh, I'm at eighteen oh one eight. So you, I got you by about seven hundred really we're really kind of good at this game dude i was looking at it my average score in GeoGuessr is 19,900 or something like that Jeez. now the average score in the episodes is higher because i'm actually focused right if right. i ever play it on not, stream i'm just like you know i don't playing, i don't feel not, like looking and you're not playing rob so well <laughs> you know <laughs> we don't even ask each other what we got on the score <laughs> Is where we're at there. I just sometimes I wait for him to go. Oh, I got I did well on that one. Then we'll talk about it. You know, there was a there was a time where I think people thought that Rob would be would do well when I he was you with know, us in season two. I think he could. Uh, he's he's got a good European base from playing EU four, which is really how I know any European geography. Right. I think uh, you know it just takes practice. You can get there. I mean, you're getting thrown in with the with the wolves. Yeah, it's a it's a tough crowd. I mean, again, Apollo was the only one who was able to take one game off of us. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. And then he got smoked for the rest of the entire time he was here. <laughs> but hmm, how do you feel about I mean, this one? I know the country. Obviously. Oh, like yeah, yeah, but. What's throwing me off is the city. Yeah. I haven't. Have you seen? Have you seen a city? A city sign yet? No. Okay. But I mean, it's big right. <laughs> and old. I don't know. Like, and and I'm not just playing with you. I sort of feel like this doesn't feel like Rome. But I've also never been to Rome, so how would I know? You know. I have also not been to, been to. 
anywhere I roam. Where I lay who do, who does that one? Called upon my soul. Who who does that? Body alive. Still I roam, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Metallica. There you go. You got it. <laughs> I don't know that one. <laughs> Track you, five off. Uh, you appear to. Yeah, I kind of know it. Here's one where I'm like, oh, I, I think I know the city, but I couldn't find it. But then I found it. Not good. I think that's it. Oh. May have also found the... It's not in Iraq, Mouse. Wherever you're scrolling <laughs> into, it ain't there. Poggy, dude, the Europa beer shop. Can we just not ever say Poggy again? I really like Poggy. Poggy, Pog Champ, Pog, and Poggers. I like them all. Le Pogger? No. Poggerino? I, re I reject. I reject <clears throat> any any anything Pog related or or Bog related. I reject. I reject your Pog and substitute my own. <laughs> Uh, I got you by 54 on that one. You would think that with a sign that says Bologna. Ah, but right there. it said Bologna, Ferrara, and something else like Modena. I literally lost in every guess. When 22,295 is not enough. You know, I'm a, I'm a happy man. That's, that feels good for me. Two game lead for Northern Lion. Um, by the way, I've, for last week's episodes, I did figure out why I kept getting the pop ups for the GeoGuessr Pro thing. I guess last year when we first started mm. recording the series, I uh, I paid for an entire year and it just went it expired. So I apologize about that, and also for not recording my point of view last week. That's good ago. though, because when you pay for a year, I mean you're paying July prices in June of next year. You just beat inflation. Yeah. You basically saved like 0.7%. Saved like 13 cents. Probably a lot less, quite frankly. <laughs> it is only it is only $3 a month. But anyway. Oh, no, they charge one ninety nine for an annual. Oh. So it, was, it was only 20, $22, I think. All right. Like that. So, But, yeah, congrats. Great uh, great round. Thank you. Thank Hard you. Feels good to, to get a win early. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, please do click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Single best way you can help us out. Pardon me as content creators on YouTube. And of course, uh, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. These come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you live in another part of the world, you should know when they come out by now. We're on episode like 150. So for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you later.